It is all part of President Ali's uh, vision to develop our country into a first world status. And uh, the investments that we're making in Georgetown outside of the architectural landscape, uh, we are also doing quite a lot of work on the ground itself, uh, no pun intended, to make sure that uh, Georgetown uh, gets back uh, to its glory days of being the top city and hopefully in the future, in the near future, the top destination in the Caribbean. That was Minister of Local Government and Regional Development, Nigel Darmlau. On Sunday, the ministry collaborated with the city council in a cleanup exercise along Regent Street to make it a more sanitary environment for commuters and vendors. The current phase of the enhancement program started at the Avenue of the Republic and ended at Camp Street. When we did the walkabout uh, last week, many of the vendors and shoppers as well as passers-by, they indicated that uh, they would like the drains along Regent Street to be cleaned. This is the primary business area in Georgetown. And uh, I'm happy that other stakeholders have also come out in support of our cleanup. Minister Darmlau also commended the vendors and volunteers and former Georgetown Mayor Patricia Chase Green, who participated in the exercise. This is going to be a continuous exercise uh, to upgrade and enhance the quality of life. Well, in this case, the quality of business in Georgetown. And uh, I'd like to encourage everyone that uses Regent Street, everyone that traverses anywhere in Georgetown to continue to keep the place clean and to and those vendors who are playing their trade on the streets for them to make sure that their environment, their the areas where they work, where they conduct their businesses, that those areas uh, remain in a pristine condition. As a councillor for the city of Georgetown, there's always my desire to ensure that the environment is safe for living. Um, Tom Clark would have organized a cleanup campaign since last week where the, the city would have removed all the pallets and waste that is all around the city and this week she promised that she would do some drainage works. So I offered my assistance with the men to come and do the cleanup in the city. Chase Green noted that during her two-year tenure as mayor, flooding in Georgetown reduced significantly due to prudent drainage management. She said the capital city could only see improvement with the PPPC leading the council. With the PPPC government, local government in control, this city is going to change its dynamics. We're going to have a beautiful city. And so I'm happy to be part of the cleanup campaign this morning. Last Sunday, we were here and we did the removal of pallets that were blocking the drainage um, along Regent Street. So this morning, we, we returned to the silt, the canals. What we're hoping to achieve is a cleaner drainage system within the city of Georgetown, which will lead to the alleviation of flooding. Right? We know that the rainy season is almost upon us, and the mayor's council is trying its best to see how um, best we can relieve the city of future flooding. The Ministry of Local Government and Regional Development has also planned a nationwide cleanup exercise for May ahead of Independence Day.